Well, hello and welcome to my DIY today. And today I'm going to make, they're called wedding, wedding cookies. And they're just little uh, pretty white. They, you roll them in powdered sugar. They're just really good. So I'm just going to show you how to make those. Let's go ahead and get started and show you what you need. So you need one cup of butter softened, half a cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, two and a half cups of flour, one half teaspoon of salt, and some walnuts chopped up. Okay, show you what to do next. Okay, the butter has been softened, and here's a half a cup of powdered sugar. Okay. All right, that's nice and creamy. Now let's put in one teaspoon of vanilla. That would be a lid full. And just kind of stir that in a little bit. Add your salt. Add your flour, two and a two and a fourth cups of flour. And just add that in there. Mix that flour in. And three fourths cup of the nuts. Mix that in there. Okay, the flour is absorbing. Okay, let's take a look at it. It should be a soft dough. And turn preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And here is the dough. I didn't need to refrigerate it because it's stiff enough. If it's not very stiff, then go ahead and refrigerate it. Now you're going to put parchment paper on an ungreased cookie sheet and make one and a half inch balls. And you're going to bake them for 10 minutes till they are golden brown. Where you can see that. And then after we bake them and they cool, you roll them in some powdered sugar and you're done. They're so pretty and there's no eggs in it. One and a half inch ball. Just squish that dough together. If you don't like walnuts, use a different nut. These are called wedding cookies because they're pretty and white. And these will stay in a ball shape. They don't flatten out like other cookies, like chocolate chip cookies, or they'll just stay in the ball form. Try and make them all uniform so they will all bake at the same. Okay, put them in the oven for 10 minutes or till golden brown. Set your timer. And while those are cooking, you finish up these last few cookies here. All right, get them out of the oven. Just lightly browned. All right, put the next batch in. Now let these cool till they're a little bit warm and then we will roll them in powdered sugar. Have some powdered sugar to roll into them. And then let them finish cooling. And they're just lightly brown. They're too hot to roll right now. The cookies are a little bit warm. Oh boy, they're way brown underneath. Just roll them in the powdered sugar. And the other cookies are done. I need to get them out. But they're so airy and fluffy. And if you don't want to roll them in the powdered sugar, then don't. But I like the powdered sugar and they're pretty. Okay, I gotta get the other ones out. Let them be cooling. They're nice and golden brown. Okay, now get back to rolling your cookies in the powdered sugar. Wedding cookies. And of course me and Papa O cannot eat them all at once. So I can just put them in the freezer and get them out for Sunday dinner. And wait for those others to cool off. You got yourself some wedding cookies. Mm -mm -mm. Those are so good. And these cookies are very messy. Mm. Because of the powdered sugar. Mm. It's so good. Delicious. I should get Papo down here. He's got his appetite back, so I'm sure you will like these. Let's take a cookie up to Papa O. 
He says, yes, bring it up. These are called wedding cookies. We're already married, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> mm. They're really soft. Mm. They're good, huh? I love them. Uh, They're just really light and fluffy. Sugar on them. Yeah, and the powdered, powdered sugar. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, good job, huh? Okay. Papa O approved. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, I do my DIYs every Friday at 2. And these cookies are just so good, so easy. They just whip right up. And they made about two dozen. Thank you, and see you next Tuesday, next Friday, and good night.